everyone, it's Shakira. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to this video where we're going to be talking about the supplements that I recommend if you are dealing with candida overgrowth, if you don't want to have to deal with it. I'm going to tell you everything that I use to overcome the candida overgrowth and bacterial infections, yeast infections, all that disgusting stuff. So we'll jump right into it because my camera battery is low, okay, and I don't have another one. The first thing you need to have on deck at all times is some organic coconut oil extra virgin by better body foods i use this one this is the one that i recommend um and i have it on me at all times what you want to do with it or what i did was first thing in the morning i would eat a spoonful uh, about a tablespoon of this on an empty stomach to help you know clear things out and to uh you know start to kill the bad bacteria off right away antibacterial antimicrobial it helps to boost the immune system really good for candida and candida overgrowth next um we'll actually talk about two things at the same time probiotics i would much rather eat my probiotics because i like food okay and then you have your probiotic supplements which i'm going to turn around because i don't recommend this one um the one that I recommend is called Prescript Assist. I used that one. I've also used the pink one, Femdophilus or whatever, and the one bit, like the ones that you can get from Whole Foods. Uh, they work for me temporarily, but I mean, if you if you see that there's a difference and then it's working for you, then continue to take it. But I would rather eat my probiotics. So kimchi is really, really good for you. Fermented cabbage or fermented, who is testing me? Uh, or fermented um, uh, radish okay and this one you can buy I got this at Sprouts Whole Foods Moms Organic Market whatever you have in your area it should have them even like your local grocery store you can also make it the awesome thing about kimchi is it's fermented it's a fermented food right we all know that fermented foods are excellent for our health however you also have the raw garlic um, you have the raw ginger you have other raw elements in the kimchi which are extremely beneficial for you you know it helps with inflammation it helps um, boost your immune system it helps to protect and um, promote the growth of good bacteria and the death of the bad bacteria that's causing so many problems so you can also make this it's cheaper this was like six dollars uh, you can make it and it's even better and cheaper it stings but who cares um next corellia and spirulina i have spirulina powder and then these are the spirulina tablets and corellia tablets if you google this it will come up that this is good for candida for fighting candida and for boosting the immune system cancer prevention vitamins and minerals i mean if you put this in your smoothie that is your vitamin liquid vitamins um it has vitamins B1, B2, B6, B12, magnesium, iron, zinc, healthy fats, vitamin A. Um, it helps to alkalinize the body, detoxify, and all of that good stuff. So you want to be consuming this on a daily basis. When I was in the trenches, okay, and I had major, major issues uh, with uh, the bacterial stuff, the candida stuff, that's what I would consume on a daily basis. I mean every day unless you know i just need a break um, from smoothies so you can take this several different ways this is your powder form you can put it in water warning it is disgusting i'm not gonna lie but that's why you want to put it in a blender but if you're somebody that doesn't care you know you'll do whatever to get and stay healthy you can put it in water i have a video on uh, spirulina shots on my channel i'll link it for you below but then you also have these tablets um, that you can either crush take whole or blend the thing about blending and taking as a liquid is that your body absorbs it better you're you're able to really uh reap most of the benefits whereas tablets they don't always break down um you know when you take them so definitely think about that next we have green tea the best green tea ever uh, this is the only brand that i buy typically i have other brands but this is I'm really dedicated to this new meat organic jasmine green tea in china they use tea as um medicine and so do i if you purchase my uh my candida overgrowth program you know this so i recommend drinking at least three cups of green tea a day or more depending on what's going on 
um, and also adding lemon. These two together boost the immune system. Remember, anytime you're ill, it's the immune system that needs boosting, that needs help fighting whatever is going on, okay? Um, you all, you've also got your antioxidants, your vitamin C, okay? Your polyphenols, your antioxidants is what helps you look beautiful, stay looking young and stuff like that. I'm gonna do a video on how to look 10 years younger. Um, I mean, I've been told I look 10 years younger, but you know, I don't know. <laughs> um, but this will definitely help you combine. You always have to combine because when you combine with lemon juice, that activates the power of the green tea. Um, so that's that. Last but not least, um, I did not use this during my journey, but you should add it into your uh, daily ritual, regimen, whatever you want to call it, cloves. Cloves, this is Dr. Clark's store. This is a part of a cleanse like packet or a, you know what I'm saying, a program. But I just use the cloves because cloves are antimicrobial, antibacterial, antiviral, okay? And they're, and, and with that said, it's extremely beneficial if you have candida overgrowth. It's gonna kill the bad stuff, okay? And um, help support your immune system. It's an antiseptic, so it's like, you know, just think of like clearing out all the bad stuff. I also have, so th these are like pills. I would take these on an empty stomach, and I do. Like, I will randomly take these on an empty stomach. After you get the candida and stuff under control, you have to maintain, okay? Maintain, so that you don't have any further issues. I have a drink recipe, yogi tea, not yogi tea, like, you know this like yogi tea like they make in india okay um with with ginger with cinnamon cardamom pods and clove i drink that randomly drink that randomly just as maintenance so that you don't get sick so that you stay healthy so i will leave all relevant links in the description box below and videos so on and so forth you guys jump on these things right now so that you can look and feel amazing these are the things that I used and that I continue to use to stay healthy and to make sure I don't have to deal with candida and all that other stuff. Um, if you found the video helpful, give me a thumbs up, share, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.